Here's a video where I will time how long it takes to get all five of the Liquidware Modern Device sensors up and running on an Arduino and an extender shield with a proto, uh, proto board. <coughs> First, I have the crash test sensor, then the three axis accelerometer, then the dual axis gyroscope, the temp sensor, and the compass cheat sheet. I have loaded up w the cheat sheets for each one. This is the crash test, three axis accelerometer, dual axis gyro, the temp sensor, and the compass module. And I have opened up an Arduino IDE, and I will time how long it takes for me to wire up each one with anywhere from none to six wires for each one of the sensors. Then I'll copy and paste the code, and I'll move on to the next sensor only once I have a, uh, a serial terminal showing that I'm reading the sensor values on the screen. Chris will hold the camera while I time myself. <coughs> Starting now. This is the crash test sensor. The crash test sensor needs V in to 5 volts. V in to 5 volts. It needs ground to ground. It needs X out. analog zero and it needs Y out to analog one. I will copy and paste the code and hit compile. <coughs> it's compiling. Successful upload. Writing, reading, done, open. The values are confirmed as I move and I jitter it. It shows the acceleration on the screen, verified in 1 minute 10 seconds. Close the serial monitor, move on to the next sensor. The next sensor is the 3 axis accelerometer, which I install. It needs 6 wires. Ground to ground, ground goes to ground, VN goes to 5 volts, VN goes to 5 volts, GS1 goes to ground, so I'll wire it right here, GS2 goes to so I'll put it into V in. X0 goes to analog 0. X1. I had a difficult time getting that wire in. Let's grab that one. X0 goes to analog 0. Y0 goes to analog 0. I will copy the code. Paste it. Program <coughs> is compiling, uploading, it's writing, reading, pop open the serial monitor, and the values are displaying 500 to 600 to 700 as I rotate it. So I have it confirmed. I'll close the serial monitor, take out the wires take out the sensor and move on to the dual axis gyroscope. The dual axis gyroscope only needs four wires. V ref needs to go to five volts. Ground needs to go to ground. Ground is second wire in from the right. X out goes to analog zero. Y out goes to analog one. Go up to the cheat sheet, copy the code, paste it, compile. It's compiling. 
the gub load. It took four seconds to compile. It's building. It's writing. It's reading, verifying, four seconds. The gyroscope, two axis, turn it, X, Y, and the values are changing, so it's confirmed. I'll close the serial monitor, take out the four wires, unplug the dual axis gyroscope, and move on to the temp sensor. The temp, sen temp sensor is the first sensor that doesn't need any wires. I just plug it in, select the code, compile, upload. Writing, reading, done, serial monitors up, temperature, put my finger on it, it goes up, take my finger off, it goes down, confirmed, close the serial monitor, take the temp sensor off, put the compass sensor on, the compass sensor is another one that requires no, no wires, copy the code, press compile. Builder, done. Press upload. Writing. Reading. Done. Serial monitor is open. The heading is in degrees and it's showing that it's changed. I'll close the serial monitor and stop the timer. Five minutes, 38 seconds and I was able to show and connect five different sensors in five minutes and 38 sec seconds. I did the crash test sensor, the three-axis accelerometer, the dual-axis gyro, the temp sensor, and the compass module all in the Arduino in less than five minutes and less than six minutes.